Hello all, Seriously is here, back with some more of the Planet Crafter, and we gotta start off today with another rush thing that we forgot to do a way long time ago. Been reminded a couple times and I kept ignoring it because it, it seems low priority at the time, but it's not. We need a communications antenna and we need a screen, so I've got the antenna materials here. I'm just gonna plop it down where it, uh, you know what, where are we gonna put the screen? Yep, we're gonna put it in that room, so this is perfect. Ooh, right in the corner. What does the screen cost us? Two silicon, iron, and a magnesium. Iron might be a tall order. Let's head over to the aluminum field real quick and back. I mean, we got these things in there. We may as well use them for stuff. If we see stuff on the way, like the thing we need, <laughs> we'll stop. I assumed I had cleared the path. So yeah, let's put this right here. Something like that. Here's all the stuff we have read on screens in the wild. Can we scroll this? It looks, oh yeah, there we go. And here's satellite communications we received. Nothing, nothing so far at all because we just built this now today on episode whatever way into the game <laughs> the the insects about to start uh, yeah we're 87 percent of the way to insects we were just barely into insects yesterday let's look at our trees how are our tree spreaders doing it's nighttime of course it's nighttime why wouldn't it be nighttime when we go look at our trees as you can see tier ones do not spread stuff very far i mean we don't have a lot of land here for them to work on anyway but uh, if, you know, we could have put those right back the base, I suppose. They would have got... Mm, now they, they might have come inside. Alright, uh, Dawn is brewing. Uh, brewing. Dawn, breaking? Breaking is the word. I knew it was a B word. <laughs> Dawn is breaking. We're going to go look at that tree. And uh, then we'll get back into production stuff. But I want to see that during the daylight too. Not just our trees, but this one. We went over there during the nighttime last time too. I want to get a good look at that. Uh, we're waiting on messages anyway. We need uh, the messages to get, I think the mission to start. We need messages for um, some of the unlocks too. Oh yeah, look at that. It's open all the way through now. That's amazing. We can just walk straight through here. The tree doesn't have leaves yet. But there are uh, moss. There, is, you know, moss and things. There's leaves down here. Looks like a buried tree, actually. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's cool. Yeah, this is really neat. This might actually be the fastest way over to our power now. That's cool. Oh, it. It look. It's moving as we play, and it's popping me up with it. That's neat. That is cool. So these are rising up, and these are sunken trees. That'll come up above the ground. Neat. Okay, cool. That's cool. Oxygen. We still need oxygen. Oh, uh, I suspect we do have enough to get back to home base straight from there, but I want to hit up here while we have an empty inventory. There's lots of cool stuff we left in here. I'm sure. But we need to make the air filter, which will help for stuff like this. Yeah, there's an osmium right there, for example. I think we got the loose pulsar quartz around here. But it's worth a look. Blue crates we could have missed as well. We didn't do this wall too closely because we got everything we needed last time to make the second power generator. Oh, that's what we haven't done. We haven't taken a look at our power yet. Oh, I see an osmium. What am I stuck on?
There's a blue crate we might not have looked in. Uh, you know what? We're pretty close. I'm just going to take all of that. We're pretty close to our hut over there that had a screen in it already. We'll take it over there. And we have to make the tier 2 deconstructor anyway. We got like the most important thing already from unlocks. I think there might only be one thing left. The tier 4 satellite? Did we get that yet? Alright, let's head over here for oxygen and decoding. Oh, uh, we deleted the thing. Uh, we got space. And yet, these can be placed outside. Uh, that was another Gadget Man comment. I, I uh, was aware, however, currently, I want to showcase it. Boop, right on the ground. See, green state. That's awesome. Uh, but I still need air. <laughs> not, not that far into the game yet. Soon, soon. But I think we're... Oh, we're not done. There's new parts like the interior wall. I forgot about that. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, what do we leave over here? That's useful. Nothing. Oh, I'll take that. Take those. Put that in. And that in. Take those home. Can't take all the Lerma. <coughs> but we don't need all the Lerma. Ah. Uh, we can. It's just that there's stuff in here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Got a lot of those. Let's take that. Okay, let's head home. Make the stuff we unlocked last time. Uh, from here, going that way probably isn't the fastest. Let's go through the cave. I saw a blue crate. Cave's right over there. Hard to tell in the storm, but... Uh, darn. Uh, I do want to take that. I think I'll just trade that out for that. So let's head home. See, I don't think we have gotten any messages. We would have been alerted to it, probably. We can check. But let's make the stuff that we've unlocked. The air filter. For sure. Ice? That's... Hmm. That... Hmm. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize ice could be outside at this late in the game. I know that it stays in some of the caves, like, as late as you want to play in the game. But usually, all the stuff at the bottom of this lake, that, where you see lots of ice at the beginning of the game, that is all gone. All this area that we built our base on used to have ice too, remember? It's all gone as well. We didn't just loot it all. It is really bright today. Look at how green it is. Look how fluorescent and bright blue sky it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. We need more than just air. We need water, too. Okay. Uh, we do not have space for all of these. That's for sure. I'll put the Lerma over here. It, uh, it should go with the flowers, but that's, like, really full. Osmium is overflowing... That's now overflowing. Okay. Oh, there was space. Oh, you know what I forgot? Did I set up a tree seed? I did. Excellent. And it stayed there. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, what was the recipe? Oh, it's not going to tell us, but uh, mutagen, uh, tree bark, and the golden seed. Let's get that going as soon as we can. I forgot about that. those two on us just to remind us we'll carry these around until this one's done or like I said last time let's build another DNA manipulator 
almost have everything on us. Bioplastic, zeolite, and explosives. Yeah, up here. That'll cut those tree times in half. That's great. We do need a lot of trees long term anyway. So that's fine. Power. We got tons. Uh, messages. Let's check. Nope. Still nothing new. Didn't, didn't suspect. I think we get alerted for each of them. Uh, I think it's just a time in game sort of thing. However, something we can check real quick. Make a save game. Exit to the main menu. Let's hit play and load in. It's a real, real fast load. One of the best things about this game. <laughs> how fast you load to the main menu, how fast you load out of the game, how, how fast you load into the game. So just in case I'm thinking that we can trigger a message by logging into the game, because we triggered a rainstorm, see? So I guess not. Let's see what our flowers are doing. I I'm apprehensive because of that. Okay, it's still going. 34%, 24%, no problem. Uh, the problem we do have, though, is overflow. Let's see, we've even moved the rocket engines out of here, and we still have overflow. I think we should go put more power in <laughs> while we've got this. Uh, it still leaves us with enough for more power and um, gives us a spot for our overflow. Most of our overflow. So, a super alloy. There we go. We need three more tree spreaders, but we're going to be unlocking the tier twos. Let's see how soon that is. Mm, teleporter is first, and we don't even have that yet. We're nowhere near that. We're nowhere near that. Okay. We really got to ramp up production of oxygen then, I think. So we're going to need some more tier one tree spreaders. We're going to have the seeds for too long. Let's make the air and water filter. And our tier 2 deconstructor. Zeolite. Uh, the filters have got to be over at the advanced craft. That's fine. Yeah, water filter. So two bioplastic silicon fabric. That's fine. We can make that stuff. So we need four bioplastic total, two fabric, other methane. Bioplastic we don't have a lot of. We need three more. So mushrooms. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a shame. We're only growing two of those at a time, so we can't make both of these filters right now. Um, darn. Uh, water's over here. Already had some methane. Yeah. Which one do I want? I think, hmm, I think water, to be honest, uh, that is probably more useful. We have huts everywhere. We're about to have breathable air and not gonna need this at all. And I, I don't say about to, we're going to have. Uh, this lets us drink anywhere there's water on the ground. So yeah, let's go with that. So aluminum fabric and silicon. Hey, there's the tea spreader <laughs> tier two. 
Ah, that's great. All right, what do those cost, and what are we going to get back from these? It's mostly the same, if I recall. We just need to upgrade the fertilizers to twos. That's no problem. We've got lots of those in storage. And switch over to zeolite. We're going to get bioplastic back. That's great. We can go make the other filter. Problem solved. Uh, in that case, then, let me put this mushroom away. Let's put that on. Bada bada boom. Uh, we're still going to go get power. Hey, hey, test drink. We need food. There we go. Oh, uh, why don't we bring the materials for replacement with us and not have to ferry them back over here? We need two zeolite. Two tier twos for what we have already, and then we'll have to worry about mores later. So, philoms out of here. Pleoms? I don't know how you say that. It's a weird word. Pleom? Probably pleom. Here's, here's the butterfly dome. I We must have just hit insects then. So, can we see insects on the ground then? That'd be cool. All right, let's put them over here anyway. There we go. That's a much better improvement. Ah, uh, should we move? We only have the three flowers there. Okay, we'll move them later. What do we get back from those though? Any overlap? No, not really. A single super alloy is all we'll need that carries over. And the fertilizer will help make tier 2 fertilizer, but no, no, no. Okay. So, we need an incubator because, look, now we can see insects on the ground. That's fantastic. We need to make bees. Uh, let's get some trees. And figure out what two more tree spreaders from scratch are going to cost us. Tree bark, zeolite, fertilizer tier two each, bacteria each. Put those in there. Let's uh, not worry about power for the moment. Put this away. Uh, bacteria, and we need another bacteria. And two tree bark and two super alloys. Cool. Oh, <sighs> I need three of all of these. No problem. We've got the tree bark in storage for a while. Uh, yeah, there's some more. Cool. Uh, super alloy, zeolite. And tier two fertilizer and another bacteria. Okay. Uh, so there we go. Sort three of those, three of those, three those, three of those, three of those, and three seeds to put in them. Okay, cool. And the room to pick up these flowers, I hope. Flowers at least, if not the spreaders. I'm missing something. I was holding control. That's weird. Is it because of the jetpack? Huh. Okay. Uh, I got to rebuild those. Or... 
take all the fuses out, maybe. Yeah, that's hitting all of them. Perfect. There we go. That should ramp up production pretty good from the T1s that we started today with. We've got five T2s. I say we get some more tree seeds brewing, which is going to mean more mutagen. And we used up some stockpiles of this, so let's pick some. Oh, hey, our first message. That's awesome. Uh, sulfur and one of those each. I think we had excess sulfur, right? Where did we stick that? It wasn't up here? It was. It was. Oh, but the tree bark. Well, we're growing it. We can use these ones for uh, seeds. And then once they're grown, maybe we'll have enough space for spreaders. There we go. that golden seed away. Should have thought of that when I was over here. Put all of that fertilizer away. And we need four of those. Alright, let's head back and put power in. Oh, uh, um, there we go. Yeah, let's go this way. And before we cross over, let's take a sip of water. We didn't bring any of that with us. Yeah, look at these leaves come popping up here. Whole trees are coming up through the ground. That is super cool. We should probably put our tree seeds over here in this area. Uh, it's close enough to the base at this point that we can walk back and forth and it won't have to draw while we're at home base. storage in here. Okay. So we will head back to the other hut we put down. Because there's more to take home. Oh, we never looked in the crate up here, and there's one over on that hill too, I think. Let's go check these. Meh. But it's better to take it when you check it than to leave it. Here it is. Yeah, that's better stuff. That's our first nitrogen ever. Free uh, mutagen. Yeah, I will take that. And we're gonna fill up on cool stuff before we even get over to our hut because there's a bunch of blue crates in this area too. Which should have leveled up with our current. Oh, you know what we need is zeolite. We've been using up a storm. We 
we have not been replenishing. What the heck? What the heck and heck? We got butterflies flying through the air. That is so cool. We have not found any butterflies ourselves yet. We haven't made any insects. I think we're going to end today by getting back home and building our first incubator. I thought there were blue crates out here, but maybe I'm just missing them all. I know there are blue crates, but where are they? Huh. There's one. All right, you know what? Let's go grab it. Lots of seeds and regular tier 1 fertilizer. I was hoping for some tier 2 fertilizers, actually. Worth the trip for the zeolite, at least. And I think we have another iridium rod to bring home here. And... There's, is, do we do everything in the bunker here? Yeah, it's uh, the callus' bunker on the crater that we haven't done. That for sure I don't need. Here we go. I'll bring I don't really need this many as soon as we get the outdoor farm. We can just change the four that were six that we're growing into like two. Uh the iron is probably more important. Yoink. <laughs> Alright. Let's head back this way. I want to take a peek at the crater, and we're going to go like a super convoluted long way home just so we can look at the crater. There's another blue crate. Darn it. Yeah, you know what? We'll just leave the iron in, in there. So, so much for the incubator. Let's go take a peek at the crater. That's where we'll end it off. We'll build the incubator first thing tomorrow. Well, those look really cool at a distance in this here. They're super purple instead of pink. I like that. I want to see what the heaters and nuclear power generators... Wait, what's it? Aren't those nuclear... Oh, it's nuclear fusion versus just nuclear generator? All right. The green ones. Let's see what the green ones look like out here. And I know we have a hut up there, but will we make it? Yeah, almost for sure we will, but we're not gonna. Let's. Because we got that bioplastic back, and you know what we didn't do? <laughs> Is build uh, the air filter. Ah, <laughs> uh, and a storm to deal with. That's fine. I, we don't need to. see very far to see if there's dust cloud or not. Not getting hit by asteroids would be nice though. Meteorites, whatever. Oh yeah, the dust cloud is indeed gone. In fact, there is water and trees. The meteor itself is gone. So we missed that stage where there was no dust and no water, but uh, oh well. <laughs> A regular meteor shower, nothing to write home about. Got a pretty good haul and lots more progress on uh, done today. I wish we did get all the way home. I'd like to see the screen, but we'll check that out first time, next time, on the weekend. Uh, but until next time, have a good time. <laughs>